Good morning, everybody. My name is Neeraj. I know you are surprised to see me in this avatar, uh, but today's topic demanded it. Today's topic is called Metaverse. So I just thought that maybe I should create an avatar of myself and try to do this video in that avatar. So, uh, so let us study what is Metaverse. Uh, before we study Metaverse, uh, we should actually know what is augmented reality and what is virtual reality. Augmented reality uh, is where uh, maybe you use your mobile phone and it has uh, like it has reality also and it has a combination of uh, virtual reality also. Uh, most common example can be uh, the Lensmart app. Lensmart app, uh, uh, by the way, if you don't know, is an app uh, where you actually uh, want to use spectator, spectators, uh, specs, or <laughs> that simple uh, word, okay? Well, you want to use your glasses, you want to uh, purchase the glasses, and you want to see which glasses are best suited for you. So you go to their app and you actually, uh, or like uh, with the help of augmented reality, they show you uh, which one is best suited so you're able to take the best decision. That's a, uh, uh, that's a wonderful thing, advancement in technology. However, that was augmented reality. Now virtual reality is a step more. Uh, what really happens in virtual reality is that uh, you put on a particular headset, okay? And then you are transferred into a virtual world, virtual world, which is totally different uh, from uh, the real world, okay? And uh, that's it. That That's a difference that uh, it is, it uh, feels like more realistic, uh, especially if you are, uh, it is used in gaming, if you want to do some kind of 3D gaming or something, like if you want to have an immersive experience, then uh, the virtual uh, reality is used. Okay, uh, so uh, now when we know the difference between augmented reality and uh, uh, virtual reality, now let's come to what is uh, metaverse. Metaverse means it is interconnected virtual world. Now, in generally in virtual reality, as, uh, like you are playing a single game, uh, so uh, that's the virtual world. But uh, when you consider metaverse, it is a interconnected uh, virtual world. Uh, like <laughs> you can interact. You can uh, socialize, you can play games there. It is a collection of different online spaces, games and experiences that are connected in uh, Metaverse. It uses avatar just uh, just as uh, <laughs> uh, just as the avatar I'm using. Uh, then various, uh, you can actually go to various virtual places. You can meet other people uh, from all over the world do things that may not be possible in the real time world so this is a metaverse it is much uh, you can say the uh, universe of a virtual uh, world so can be called as uh, metaverse now uh, in uh, how is metaverse built uh, metaverse is built using three building blocks one is the virtual reality second is the augmented reality and third is the blockchain. Block, what is blockchain? It actually facilitates uh, uh, ownership and exchange of digital assets, uh, which is vital in decentralized uh, uh, world. So uh, not only are you able to interact with people uh, in uh, uh, metaverse, but apart from that, you are actually able to do a transaction that you would uh, just do in a real world, and for that, you will uh, get ownership of that. So, uh, <laughs> for just to give you an example, to make it very simple, 
uh, you can own a real estate online in the virtual world and you can actually sell that real estate to the highest bidder. Uh, sounds surprising, but yes, it is possible. It is possible uh, uh, because blockchain is used in that. Now, let us see. Let's not dive into Metaverse uh, uh, in detail, but let us see what what impact can it bring into various worlds, various uh, sectors. Uh, the first one is gaming. Uh, what are the advantages uh, that may occur if uh, if gaming uh, or what uh, metaverse uh, gives advantage or impacts the gaming industry uh, number one the most important one it is immersive immersive means that it is more interactive more real uh, than a normal game uh, for example i was listening to one of the reviews of one of the uh, vr headsets uh, and it said uh, just the virtual reality, not the metaverse. But uh, they were just saying that when you when you actually put in the headset and you actually uh, uh, like feel like you have gone to the stadium to watch the match, like you, uh, you actually get that feeling. So uh, just wanted to give you a simple example for that. The next one is that uh, there is social interaction. Social interaction means that you can actually visit uh, those people and uh, meet people, interact with them. Next one is that a persistent world. Persistent world means that uh, uh, it is persistent, uh, means that the worlds, uh, it, it, is, it is basically like an adventure every day is different, uh, but persistent means that uh, uh, it is not uh, uh, changing that much. Like uh, it is, uh, uh, you're comfortable with that particular world. Like you, if you actually leave that world today, you log off and uh, then you come back again, then definitely it will be the same world. Of course, uh, there, uh, there will be some new adventures added, uh, every day, but uh, that makes it really exciting. <clears throat> then it is user-created content. What happens is that as more and more metaverse, metaverse users actually uh, start using this and uh, they would create uh, content uh, and uh, uh, like, so it is very user-friendly. Next one is virtual economics. Virtual economics, as I told you, that here it, you can actually do a transaction using blockchain. So you can buy, sell uh, using the gaming credits uh, since we are talking about specifically about uh, gaming. Next is cross platform. Uh, if you are using a particular platform, maybe uh, a tablet or something, and you log out of that and maybe the next time uh, you log on with with a different device, it does not matter. Like even if it is a different platform, a different device, uh, you can start from the same thing, same time when you left. So those are the advantages uh, Metaverse offers in gaming. Now let us see what it offers in entertainment. Entertainment is also immersive. Like for example, uh, you're watching a movie, and uh, you feel that you are a part of that movie. Uh, you actually feel very close to it. So you will see a lot of uh, <clears throat> concerts, concerts, movies, live events happening on Metaverse. Uh, now the advantage of that is that it is global. Every any Anybody can actually uh, uh, go on Metaverse and watch it. Uh, there will be celebrity engagements with the help of this. And uh, even uh, fan communities can be built up uh, very fast using uh, Metaverse. So these are some of the advantages that uh, Metaverse may offer in the entertainment industry. Now let us see what it offers in the education side. Education side, it is uh, once again immersive learning uh, uh, con uh, environment, for example, if you are uh, teaching uh, geography 
maybe something about planets then uh, uh, like if you see those planets visually and uh, uh, it you are likely to learn it in a much more better way than just reading it out in the textbooks so it is more immersive uh learning it creates a immersive more immersive learning environment <clears throat> global community like there is nothing like a classroom the whole world is becomes the community anybody can uh, learn personalized learning like uh, your experiences are recorded and based on those recordings then uh, the content is actually shown to you so that's why it is said that it is personalized learning stimulate uh, stimulation and experiment in virtual world now if you were to do a dangerous experiment in the real world it would have not been possible however if you are in the virtual world definitely you can try it out and uh, uh, you can explore uh, that so you can actually do uh, stimulated experiments in there collaborative learning you can actually collaborate uh, with anybody from the world because the whole world uh, is there uh, so you can collaborate with anybody for uh, maybe some uh, uh, new project or something like that and ex uh, access to experts like in uh, as uh, as the whole world is available you can actually you also have access to experts in that particular field you can if they are available on metaverse you can contact them and uh, take expertise uh, from them so these are the advantages uh, metaverse will bring in education now let us see what happens in business and commerce in business and commerce the first thing metaverse will do is that you can have virtual stores and showroom and this virtual stores and showroom will be global and uh, you can actually do enhance marketing and branding uh, uh, in a better way on on uh, these particular stories because you would be able to do something innovative <laughs> uh, uh, then the real world uh, you have a collaborative workspace so that is you can work with uh, maybe other other people all around the world for projects then you have virtual properties like as, just as i told you i can uh, i can purchase a real estate virtually and i can sell it to the highest bidder so you have virtual properties you have blockchain based transaction which are very secure that you will actually uh it will track to whom uh, the sale has been made then there is customer engagement because it is more immersive so that's why more customer engagement is there data insights uh, are uh, data insights can be more studied and then the marketing campaign can be done then uh, as i told you about innovative product launch and uh, training training also is very useful here because it's not just the bookish training uh, it is more of an immersive training so the uh, uh, like the training will be more beneficial uh, if it's done on metaverse people would be able to grasp more if it's done in metaverse however uh, just as the benefits uh every new technology has some kind of challenges uh, so the first one is data privacy and data security second one is mental health mental health means that if you are continuously wearing that headset and uh, you are you get addicted to the virtual world then it might impact your mental health you might lose stability in the real world third one is the digital ownership uh, and the copyright and the intellectual property rights these are the three challenges right now in the metaverse uh, but uh, i am sure that as the technology advances more and more uh, a lot uh, we are going to see a lot in metaverse now uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, this uh, uh, this information is actually available on 
www.onpassive.com. By the way, I am an early adopter of uh, of a uh, upcoming uh, upcoming unicorn uh, IT company, which is preparing uh, SaaS products, uh, which is going to make uh, life of users very uh, simple and is going to give them a great user experience. So uh, the website is www.onpassive.com. Not only uh, it has fantastic products, but it will also increase uh, the technical knowledge that you have with those uh, with the blocks that are present there. The present uh, information that I shared with you today in today's video is available in the blocks of www.onpassive.com. So if you are interested in uh, interested in joining on passive.com uh, you can always uh, check my uh, click on my link in the description and join as fast as possible if you like this video uh, please subscribe to my channel okay and if you uh, if you uh, if you have any comments please comment on the same and share this video as much as possible so that uh, I can make much more videos like this. I hope you like my video and uh, hope to see you in the next video very soon. Thank you very much and have a great day.